What is going on world? Welcome back once again. My name is Zach Novak and this is Zach Novak Plays Games. Or slightly late Novak. In today's video we've got this week's Zor's location and inventory. Roll the intro, let's get right into it. I do hope you certainly enjoy. Alrighty, getting straight into the video, good old Zor's location and inventory, the tentacled bastard. We are on Nessus this week, chilling near the giant barge. So once you actually have a spawn and jump in your sparrow, head up in this direction and keep your fingers crossed. The good old tentacled bastard actually has something good. If you're one of the players who actually has, you know, gone on through and actually done cross save and now you're playing on a different platform, potentially you might actually get some different stuff from Zor. Be aware that you can get different stuff on PlayStation 4 and Xbox from the good old tentacled Bust, but let's see what has he actually got anything good all righty well surprisingly not horrible let's start things off this week with the ashen wake for the titan 23 legendary shards for this very underused exotic that actually looks pretty freaking cool and fairly unique main perk on it is actually called bring the heat fusion grenades now explode on impact and gain increase throw speed this thing in itself is actually pretty decent i actually like this in some actual forms i will actually set on it very often i do like it though it just it looks unique especially with the perks this week it is actually pretty decent so grenade perks on it we've got good old linear fusion rifle loader we got submachine gun loader and we've also got momentum transfer as well as the limited two we've also got ourselves some amazing perks called special ammo finder and heavy ammo finder which is always always nice to actually get in a good set of exotics this thing in itself has some really good rolls pick it up if you have not got it 23 legendary shards moving on though next up though we've got ourselves the shinobu's vow for the hunter or huntress 23 legendary shards for this d1 exotic bot d2 that actually is seriously a lot of freaking fun Main perk on it is actually called New Tricks. Improve Skip Grenade and you gain an additional Skip Grenade Charge. Skip Grenade returns energy when it damages enemies as well. This thing in itself honestly is a lot of fun and I really do actually like this. Secondary perks on it, we've got ourselves good old Submachine Gun Loader, Fastball, as well as Momentum Transfer, as well as Momentum 2. We've also got ourselves good old Grenade Launcher Scavenger and Special Ammo Finder. Pretty nice, pretty decent. Pick these up because... They're a lot of fun. This is, if, if you're an arc strata, these things honestly are a lot of fun. They, they're just cool. Big enough. 23 legendary shards. Moving on though, next up, we've got ourselves another arc type thing. We've got ourselves the good old crown of tempests for the warlock. 23 legendary shards for this very cool looking crown exotic thing that just looks cool. Main perk on it is actually called Conduction Ties. Arc Ability Kills increase the recharge rate of your arc abilities and extend the duration of Storm Trance. This thing in itself is actually pretty decent, especially with the whole, you know, arc kind of thing going on at the moment with the elemental weeks and all that good stuff. But this thing, secondary perks are also pretty decent. We've got ourselves Bow Targeting. We've got Light Reactor, which is always nice. And we've also got Heavy Machine Gun Targeting. I would say Machine Gun for some reason. As well as Lumbers do, we've also got ourselves good old Fusion Rifle Reserves and Machine Gun Reserves. Pretty nice, pretty decent. This thing in itself looks crazy cool. Pick it up if you have not got it for your Warlock and add it to your collection. 23 Legendary Shards. Moving on, next up, we've got the Weapon of the Week. We've got the Aero Blast. 29 Legendary Shards for this exotic linear fusion rifle that is fairly fairly fun to actually use i will state it honestly is pretty cool in some situations especially in strikes where the boss just has a lot of health and elemental shields main perk on it is actually called compounding force fire slugs that cause massive damage to elemental shields of enemy combatants this with its secondary perk being shield disorient or disruption break breaking enemy shield with its weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period this thing in itself it's fun. It's it's pretty beastly. Pick it up if you have not got it. Once again, 29 legendary shards. Moving on though, next up, we've got ourselves the good old consumables. The Five of Swords challenge card for the Nightfall. This allows you to tailor made your Nightfalls. Do you want to make your Nightfalls more challenging? Well, add challenging modifiers to the already challenging Nightfall to make that challenge Nightfall more challenging with those challenging modifiers. This thing in itself also allows you to better score, better loot, and better all around stuff and have a lot more fun just because it is honestly, it's pretty cool. 
pick it up if you have not got it. Moving on though, next up, we've got ourselves also finally finishing things off the Isochronal Engram, aka the Fated Engram. It is 97 legendary shards. Let me just get those shards that I'm missing. Alrighty, so got the shards. 97 legendary shards for the Fated Engram. It is going to decrypt into an exotic Engram you don't actually own unless you have all the exotics that are available from up to all the DLCs that are available and you've got a actual, you know, duplicate. Ophidian space. I'm really freaking hyped if this has actually got some better rolls than what I've got on this one at the moment because this one actually is pretty decent. If this one actually has even better rolls, I'm going to be crazy hyped. We've got ourselves unflinching hand cannon aim. The same as what I've got already. And primary ammo finder. Hmm. There seems to be something here where it seems like one of these is just like the other. Well, that's not horrible. You can actually get exotics you don't actually have in your collection from this in itself. It is pretty freaking decent. You can actually just get duplicates like I did actually get, but it can have sometimes better perks. However, this time I got the exact same perks. It's just one of those things that I guess that's just my luck. But anyway, this has been Source Location and Inventory for the week, and this has been Zach Novak. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, click that like button down below. Let me know, was this video actually helpful for you guys? Did you actually, you know, get anything good from the technical bastard? Was there actually something you wanted to pick up from him? Potentially, maybe there actually was. Maybe there actually wasn't. Let me know in the comment section down below. Leave a like, do a comment, do all that good stuff, and I'll be sharing like Darren over here with Ed Sharon. Share this video because it seriously helps out me, helps with that channel, helps out other people to actually see Zor's content and stuff like that. But until next time, this has been Zach Novak. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, click the like button down below, do all the good stuff, and share like Darren over here with Ed Sharon. But until next time, this, wait for it, is. Zach Novak. I didn't get that one off. Signing off. Peace out.